So in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can make the posts, uh, the post listing sortable. So you'll see here we have our custom field values coming through in our column listing. Here we have the city listing, and you'll see now that it has a sort filter applied to it. So if I was to click on city, you will then see that they are now arranged Amsterdam, London, New York, Paris, Sydney, Tokyo. Or if I arranged in reverse order, and you will see the reverse order. So to give you a little clue about what's going on here, you will see if we have a look at the URL, you'll see that the post type is set to directory, which is the post type that we're in. And then order by is the contact city. And that, of course, is the custom field name. And the order at the moment is descending. If I click on that now, you'll see that the order is ascending. And then it also starts with the A. If I want to go back to the default list of all the posts, I can simply click on all directories. Uh, something I haven't tried is to just click on title. And right, if we click on title, we get all the posts back. And what you'll notice here as well is that in the city listing, not every post has a city in the listing. So when we choose to filter or sort, should I say, by the city name, it only shows the posts that have the city. But if I head over to title, Obviously, all the posts have a title, and so we get the post listing then, the uh, post listing with all the titles. So that's pretty much how it works, and we're just going to add this to the um, code that we've been using. So you'll remember we first set the columns, the order of the columns, then we selected the content uh, for each of the columns, and then what we have here is how we sort the post so the first thing that we need to do is to make a post um, sortable and you'll see here that there is a function that we can access from wordpress and what this filter does is it allows you to um, make the, the uh, column sortable so to show you what i mean is if we head over here to the developer resources you'll see there's a filter manage underscore this dash screen dash id um, underscore sortable underscore columns and uh, what you'll see now is that it then accesses an array as well called sortable columns now if we add an item to this particular filter we need to write out this filter in a very specific way to make it work and the correct way to write out that filter you'll see here is manage underscore and now when we have to enter the screen id we then enter edit dash directory and then underscore sortable underscore columns so it's not just a case of putting in the screen id but it's actually a case of writing it like this and that's just what wordpress requires to make this work so it's manage underscore edit dash directory underscore sortable underscore columns. That will make the column sortable. And then to get the correct order for the columns, we use this pre get posts um, action. And what that then does is we set the, uh, well, how are we going to filter that column here? So you'll see here that if the um, value is equal to contact city, uh, contact underscore city and we've set that then to be exactly query get order by and then we set the query here so the query and um, order by meta value and the meta key then is contact city um, so if for example if we didn't have this pre get posts what would happen then is that we would be able to sort the post so all that this does all that this function here does is make it sortable so if i head over to the website now and i refresh you'll see that the city column is sortable and if i click on city you'll see now that yes it is sorting but it's not actually sorting by the alphabetical uh, by the names here what it's actually doing is just doing a sort by the post title so you'll see that all by the post title so it has it's just allowing a default filter to run or sort filter to run and at the top here even though it says order by contact underscore city and order descending it's clearly not executing 
that order and so in order to get that order to run we then have a look at the pre get post function and the pre get post function um, if you have a look here you'll see that will allow the sort sequence to take place so let's say we wanted to if we have a look here maybe we want to let's see if we wanted to run it here then buy this custom value so we wanted to sort by the custom value as well so we have the city and then we have the custom value so what we're going to do then to make that work is um we're just going to copy that over and now what i'm going to do is just change that contact underscore city and to contact underscore custom field so i'm just changing the custom field and we change that in two places. So now what I've done is I've I've set the value uh, to sort by, but I haven't actually made that column sortable. So to make the column sortable, what I need to do now is assign the sortable column. And to do that, I need to go up here and use this column name. And that column name is what we're going to use here. To make that work so to make that work then i'm going to go to sortable columns and i'll just copy that over and then i need to use the custom field name here so the custom field name here would be uh, contact underscore custom field i'm going to enter that there and then i'm going to save the changes and what you'll immediately notice now when we head back here is that the custom value will be sortable and what's happening at the moment though is for example if i click on title now all the titles are visible if i click on city what happens now is that the city is being listed in the correct sequence so when i go over to custom value we should see a change so we have add custom value anything this is new text and if i click on that again we should have the reverse order coming through so now we do have the reverse order coming through and now you can see how that works what you'll also notice now is that the city um, here we have one two three four five six posts and when I do the sort now by the custom value, we still have one, two, three. We still have all six posts coming through based on these two um, sort uh, values criteria. And it seems to be, uh, it, it'll be picking this up now. And the reason for that is because of the pre get post. So you'll remember previously, or I can demonstrate that now, if we click on title, I get all the titles coming through but when i click on custom value i'm only going to get um the the filters or or sort parameters that have been applied through the pre-get post and the highest number of posts returned in the pre-get post is via city and that's why we have these values coming through so what i'm going to do then just to uh, show you what happens at the moment you'll see we have a custom value and each custom value has a city but what happens if we have a custom value and there's no city assigned to it so i'm going to head over here to new company and under city i'm going to add a new city and that city that i'm going to add will be let's say cape town right and we'll update that and once that's updated, we're going to head back to our directory. Now, you'll see that our directory at the moment, we're sorting by title. Everything is fine. Ah, I meant to add that to the, um, the custom value. Let me just add that to the next item here, uh, custom field. And we'll just call this X custom value, right? And we'll update so we've added another city and we've added another custom field value right so now what will happen i know that when i click on city and you're going to notice now that we have all the cities listed but we also have 
this value included now. And that's because this is included in the pre-get post. But when the pre-get post runs, it's not getting the name of all the post titles. So that's not included in the pre-get post uh, function that we've created. So similarly now, when I head over here to sort by these values, you will see that, yes, it is sorting by the values in the custom field. Um, and it's sorting correctly, but then it's also including a lot of these empty um, posts without the custom value field. And that's because in the pre-get post, it's also getting all the city values. So those two combined then will give you the, that list of posts. If we click on title, then we get um, all the posts. And in this case, filtered by title. And there you have it. And if I click on all directories, then it looks like we get this addition by um, the sequence in which the posts were added or probably by date. So if we reverse the date order, um, let's have a look and see. So yeah, so the default then is to display the post by date. And then we can select from these columns now to create a different sequence. So that's pretty much then how you can uh, add the sort functionality um, to your uh, custom post columns. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching.